Sweden. The next question is quite a long and complicated one. So, it starts with some nice Oh, feedback. it's that one. It's the, yeah. Thank you so much for this question. This is the question of why we do the show. Yes, and also we're really sorry we didn't get to you sooner because we recognise it's quite time sensitive and we just, yeah, I hope that the situation has got better. Or so, if it hasn't, oh, we could yeah. all the beans. Okay, now. so, stumbled across the channel and I love it. Your topics and discussions really speak to me and I can relate to everything you say. Hopefully I can catch up on the old one sometime soon. If you don't mind another topic request, I would like to get. I would. If you don't mind another topic request, I would like to get your opinion on men going their own way. We so, didn't know what that was. No, we well. googled it. Yeah. Sorry if I'm being a bit more formal right now, but this is kind of serious. And I'd love your views. Some backstory. My boyfriend has started saying things like "take women's rights away" after living to, listening to people like Turd Flinging Monkey and Sandman, YouTubers. Over the last month, he, over the last month, he has completely changed. No matter what I say, he keeps on listening to these people and they are here on YouTube. Should I keep trying to talk to him about this? Should I tell somebody? Should I just dump him? Thanks for reading all that. Any advice would be great. Again, uh, yeah, this, these sort of questions is why we do this show and we're absolutely devastated to hear that you're having to go through this. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, I imagine this is a long-term relationship and there's basically been a major shift and you love someone and you think maybe it's just a phase, you know, maybe it's just... And, and we'll go through all this, you know, potentially it is. And, and, um, but this shift is something we have been seeing across young men, across the world, like, related to YouTube consumption, and it's very fast. And this, yeah, people turning to the all right through these, like, channels is, yeah. Yeah, you're not alone, basically, in this. So you should definitely, um, yeah, that, that's, um, you shouldn't feel like, basically, there's something wrong with you in this particular situation, or that you're failing this relationship, and or, you know, that... Yeah, you're doing something wrong, or that you're the only one who's losing, you know, her guide to this mm. past, to, to, to this phenomenon or whatnot. Like sadly a trend. I will say, this kind of destroys a little bit the my stereotype where I think it's people that don't have partners a lot of the time and are resentful that they don't have partners that are turning towards these channels because it seems to me like this person is lucky, well, you know, the man, I, I'm, assuming, I, I'm not assuming, I guess it is a man. Yeah. Really. The man is, is lucky enough to have a, a loving and empathetic partner. I was quite, almost, well, distressed is not the right word, but like, her like apologizing about even asking and or it being like a longer text at the bottom just shows mm -hmm. how just way too kind and, and lovely this person is. Yeah. And, and like, You're very forgiving. Very forgiving. Uh, possibly you don't really understand your own worth. Um, and you're having to feel like you're having to apologize for stuff, which is which is wrong. So um, should we give a brief? Yes. Uh, okay. So men going the wrong way is a part of the kind of uh, men's right activist red pill online community that has overlaps with the incel community, where it's essentially about men trying to live their lives and organize and structure themselves and cre uh, create communities outside of the influence of women, external to women, and celebrating their conception of what like being a man is through these men-only groups. However, you know, what sounds like it could just be, oh, you know, there's women's spaces, why can't there be men's spaces? It's very, very toxic, and these YouTubers in particular do videos on, like, interpreting what women mean when they ask when they ask one question but they really mean another and all these kind of things that are essentially gaslighting women on a mass scale. Well, you see, funny you use, the, you use that word gaslighting because uh, their fundamental argument would be is that women are professional gaslighters mm. and that, uh, you know, they make us... I don't know, that they, they convince us of a certain way of, of, of having a relationship and especially in the past couple of years when feminism has been on the up, that is just actually... Um, you know, that has taken our rights away and also has, you know, has made our change our habits and all of that stuff. Um, it's been fascinating as well how a lot of them actually do work like agonions where they really, they, they, they decide yeah. for certain relationship situations. And what's fascinating and what I think is the main difference between us and them as such is precisely that question of empathy, right? Even when we talk about men that have probably gone the wrong way or there's like, you know, issues men around... the wrong way. No, but you know, like, issues around misogyny and or consent with, the, with, the, with, with these men. Even, you know, we always try to approach it from a sense of empathy and trying to understand, like, what yeah. happened there. And, and, and hope they're redeemable and can be exactly. led back to the 
path of righteousness. Yeah, yeah, and what strikes me about this YouTube channel is that there is just not at all an attempt to understand the other side. It is very much creating a, like, uh, an, um, an us versus them sort of yes. uh, mentality, right? That there is, yeah, that there's a fundamental difference between the two as such. And obviously we, we also talk, you know, that men are stronger and obviously there is such thing from mis as misogyny. We also understand that, of course, there are differences as such. But there's not like an attempt to basically, uh, I guess, decipher relationship problems from a point of empathy. It's always from the place that women is the wicked person that is trying to gaslight. Yes, yes. everything women are, are doing is multi-levered and designed to like undermine you or trip you up or trick you into doing something that's against your better interests. Like women are fundamentally against your interests. Yeah. And therefore, you have to then learn strategies via these YouTubers to regain your self-worth and your self-control and your sense of self by combating the woman who is trying to undermine you. Like, yeah, it's very adversarial. And yet, it is often advice aimed at men who are in relationships with women, which is fascinating. Yes, because as, as we say, this sort of completely destroys the, the, the assumption that... Uh, there's the, the, the lonely man that has never probably never had a girlfriend, you know, and it's just like, it's so lonely and it's turning towards misogyny. No, these are people in often happy relationships, happy long-term relationships that are still somehow seduced by this. Yeah. I think and that's, that's scarier in a sense, because absolutely. there are actual women in their lives who could be very, very seriously affected by this, like the person who submitted this question, thank you so much. Like, it concerns me that someone is is absorbing this rhetoric and is in a position where they have a partner who is emotionally intertwined with them. That's much actually scarier than the inner so alone in their bedroom in many ways. Uh, yes, and yeah, they experience manipulation through these, uh, you know, through the, I mean, again, I guess this would be the sort of language that they would say, we're, that that's the sort of thing we're doing, but... I but we would know. never say, like, for example, he's, she says, I'm assuming so she, he's saying stuff like, like take women's rights away. We would never suggest take men's rights away. Yeah. Like no. We, I, I don't I don't think it's comparable except that we're both trying to give advice to the same men. Yeah. Um Yeah, this this fundamental kind of um I guess yeah, again assumption that women do this and men do this and that there is no yeah, that there that this there's are such binaries and that there is no I guess attempt of understanding the, the the differences and the traumas that people come go through as well. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the time, the way that people uh, the way that people act in relationships really are more to do with their with their trauma in the past rather than with you know their gender as such. I mean, obviously, no, of course, I mean, yeah, gender comes of course, gender. patriarchy exists. Like we are not, you know, we're we're not denying that at all. But it just yeah, it seems. Yeah, but there's just that fundamental um, uh, divide. And it ends up with relationships being about competing over who can, like, beat the other one at this yeah. wily game they're a part of, rather than trying to create, like, a fruitful union of some kind. Like, oh, the woman's trying to achieve this, so we must instead try and do, like, yeah, it, it, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we don't need to tell you that relationships shouldn't be competitive and it shouldn't be about trying to trick each other and win over each other. And, I mean, obviously, if he's saying rhetoric, like, women shouldn't have rights, and I'm assuming you just don't agree with that full stop because obviously that's nonsense. Yeah. Then is he trying to provoke you into into fulfilling a certain discourse that he's already decided is what you're going to do because he's been watching videos? Do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, exactly. So now, sort of like we've kind of established uh, what these movements are about. We, I guess, want to practically kind of zoom in as to what you could do in this situation that you're finding yourself in. First of all, this yeah again. I just I can't even imagine how fucking heartbreaking that is. You know, usually in our our um, I guess we have it the other way around where we take up with the men that are just kind of like so so with their politics and then we like improve it and they're like <laughs> legit feminists by the end yeah. of it. Not to say that you have failed in any way. Like, no, we're just in a way. bubble like that. Yeah, that's all it is. And like we are just I guess I don't know. We like very particularly I don't pick it like that, which is, yeah. which also just really makes our pool small. And yeah, I don't know, it's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I actually admire people that bother to invest in someone that isn't already a self defeating feminist because that's actually Absolutely. doing the work of feminism much Absolutely. better than me. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we like we tweak things around the edges, but like to 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 completely turn person around, that's yeah. that's huge, right? Um, so okay, so now uh, in terms of you know what should you do? This is this is your situation. I think. So yeah, so there are two things, two ways we can uh, approach this, right? Have a conversation, and or 
like or 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 break up right so we'll park break up for a little bit i think because it's just like yeah you can that's actually very very legitimate reasons why you fucking would there's a lack of attention, there is, there is you know, a clear uh, misunderstanding of your interests. What if you guys want to have children together? You know, like, you wouldn't want your child be growing up in this environment. And I would just, I mean, that line that you gave us as an example is a highly misogynistic line that I, don't, I would never, ever encourage any woman to date a misogynistic man. And maybe yeah. that line was a one thing, which is why we should talk about the talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... And it was, it was, I'm sorry, I just was doing some research on one of those videos, you know, and you know, they kind of where I'm picking the situation where a woman comes back home from, uh, from work and then the guy is like just sat there playing video games and she asks him to tidy up, but like the way that the guy twists this goes like, you know, he makes her like get a bath for her to just like relax. Like, but oh, then he must he, be having a bad day. Yeah, yeah, literally. And then he goes like, May I will take the the ingredients out of the fridge and I'll turn the you know I will turn the hob on so that after you come out of the bath you can cook the dinner and then you know basically it was like but like without like with zero irony yeah they, they are they are giving us as legitimate advice on how to deal with your relationship issues <laughs> yeah 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 I mean again it's, it's fascinating so actually one of the things I would recommend first I mean obviously we don't know if you're still in a situation or not is like maybe watch these videos yourself and see what kind of like message they're giving him because the videos are very clever they're framed as if it's a reasonable thing like yeah your woman says this but you want to help understand what your woman really means yeah and so we're helping you understand what your you know these mysterious she clearly features. has issues you mm. know but you have to tolerate cause her because you, you know you still want to like be with yeah, her yeah and like you, you know, want to like, suck her day. Day. exactly yeah. yeah yeah so these are the ways to kind of shut her like shut her up for a moment yeah you know, like. but it's dealt as like you know one bro to the other like down the pile like, oh like women right like, yeah 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 I mean it's fascinating but yeah 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 so and then I was thinking as well like between so we'll arrive right to the point is, I guess, of what are you going to say? But even in terms of the form, I'm thinking, for instance, if I were to be in the situation, I'd be interested in writing... Okay. I'd be interested in writing a letter, actually, I think, because I think that, in a way, would, would you know, put my, my, my thoughts very, very clearly, as well as maybe you can put the little links about, like, oh, yeah, I'm worried about this messaging and this and that, you know? And also, it won't, like, throw you off, and it won't give an opportunity for them to just, like argue with you or what not but basically yeah writing whether that's an email or written letter just with your concerns and again be like hey this is not a person i fell in love with i um i also i just think you do need to see me as an equal because if you don't then again this is not gonna work and um yeah there just seems to have been a shift where you don't see me as a human and that's a worry and basically i just want to get to the bottom of this so i think some sort of intervention definitely has to happen I think one of the things that you need to figure out if you don't already know, I'm presuming you know to some extent, is what what were and what are currently his views completely external to anything else. What, what are his feminist politics? How does he view you? How does he view your relationship? Yeah. How does he see it progressing over the next 5, 10, 20 years? Like, how does he see the division of labour in the household? And, and those kind of things. You need to find out where he's coming from. Even if it's influenced by these videos and stuff, before yeah, you yeah, can yeah. then be like, okay, well, see, you think this, but actually, I would prefer if it was like this, like, because... What does he think about different types of women as well? Yeah, you know? are women all this one thing? You yeah, all have yeah, the same, yeah. like, evil way of... Or maybe the, you know, the little, the little hot bodies or whatnot, like, maybe they, they, they're... They, they see, this, this, this person see them as, like, ideal, the ones that are just, like, quiet and just, like, cook and, like, manage to be hot at the same time. I mean, anyways, yeah. it's... Just, and what you want from, what you want from a relationship, not just with him, but in general, and making sure that the things that you need from a relationship are being fulfilled. Yeah. Like. And as many, or, oh, I guess I'm jumping to the next stage now, but like as many people that have like been radicalized and gone the wrong way, there are just as many people that have been kind of liberals or whatnot, but actually there's this new generation of awesome feminists. Yes. Men. It is possible. Like, it's harder, and because it's against what they've been told is in their interests, but it is... Yeah, it's yeah, totally yeah. possible to turn people towards feminism. Well, that, but but even finding basically, there's now a bigger pool of cooler men. Oh yeah, yeah, you could yeah. you could find you could literally just <laughs> dump him and like get an awesome dude like immediately. I mean, this is the thing because I'm torn, right? Because half of our thing is wanting to help Improve. these men, yes. but uh, my other half is like I don't want to encourage women to stay in toxic situations. No. Like absolutely not. Yeah, so, but I mean, I, I don't know. I think you're right. Like even the fact that I'm sorry to be meta about this, and we don't want you to guys like. Thinking that you are writing to us means there's an issue, but like, 
the fact that you are entrusting this to us does imply that this is kind of serious by now, you know, and um, you're not happy. Like, even if you're not happy on a low level, like, you're mildly concerned. It reminds me a little bit of, like, this... So there's this Twitter um, account that's actually um, posts from Reddit, which is, I think, relationships.txt. And there was one two days ago, I think, basically, where a lady was uh, complaining about the fact that her partner, all he does is spends time on communist and anarchist Facebook uh, meme pages, creating the memes, and then looking how they perform. But basically, he's on the phone, like, Oh, the whole time. Like, she can't even get a conversation with them. And the comments below were like, Oh my god, bring him my way. Oh, my days. Well, uh, way to brag about your boyfriend. Anyway, so the whole thing was like, Oh, so he's like, he does communist and his mm. tweets. Oh, what a fucking hot baby. Basically, everyone was like, send him my way. Jesus. And all of that stuff. You know, and it, that literally everyone. Literally everyone. And that was absolute. that was so heartbreaking because... You know, it really doesn't matter the politics of the person. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, even take away completely the, the misogynist shit that your partner is watching or whatnot. Um, if they're just watching too much YouTube, yeah. or if they're just, like, if not, they're not given, attentive. If they're not attentive, that's a perfectly okay. reasonable, re reasonable, I don't know, yeah. issue to, 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 to bring up mm -hmm. and or to, to decide that you're unhappy in a relationship. Yeah. So really, we're not just preaching about this just being, like, the sort of content that they're talk that 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 is being, I guess you, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, my watched, my boyfriend can be like the best fucking anarchist in London, but if he's spending all his time being a great anarchist and not spending any time going down on me, he can do one. Absolutely, that's actually what I commented, being like, even if this person, like the, the I was like, so this person sounds like a clicktivist, you know, the the mm -hmm. memes person, but even if they were like an IRL anarcho hunk, if they're not being attentive to me, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And by the way, I didn't mean sex. I was a flippant comment, also like listening to me and wanting to spend time with me and taking my opinion seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also course. going down on me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I mean, again, like something really boring. That's just why I think pluses and minuses of the relationship, you know? I mean. And you mentioned talking to your friends. Definitely, if you trust your friends, and like, I'm assuming they do, because you're your friends, definitely talk to your friends about this. Like, it never hurts to get a second opinion. Even if they're different, that's like also really useful. Yeah. Like, I've been giving a good friend of mine advice recently, and he told me that his other friend gave him completely opposite advice, but it still mm -hmm. ended up helping, you know, because... And, yeah, like, we hope we can be those friends in a sense, like... For sure. So, yeah, I mean, if it's salvageable, if it's possible to yank them out of this... I wonder, again, what is their, their relationship with their, you know, with their parents? Or, like, mm -hmm. hate to be a bit Freudian about this, but with their mum, you know, has there been... Has there been perhaps misogyny in the house that maybe they were, like, I don't know... A rebelling against for a while. Maybe they met you and they were happy with you for a while, but now it's all coming back. I and also, know, have they got new questions. guy friends like IRL as well as like you know, what are their guy friends like? How do they interact? How do they talk about women? Like, is it just like a bit of loud bands that we can put yeah. aside, or is it like creating a community of animosity? Because there's a difference between occasionally, you know, like complaining about your girlfriend and having an animosity towards women, and yeah, and also be like, hey, so you know, look at. Look at the women of the past, I would know. Would you like me to be that way? Would you like me to, I don't know, to be, to shut up and be just like a little server for you? Would that satisfy you? I mean, basically, there's just so many questions one could ask. I mean, yeah. Honestly, I would say dump him. Yeah, but, I mean, like, we said yes, all this stuff because it's completely <laughs> up to you yeah. to, like, try and see what, like, we don't know what his good cause is. So you haven't given us, you know, a full picture of this person. Like, maybe he's maybe actually really attentive. Give the best head off of that. Yeah, on maybe your he life. Could get the mind blowing <laughs> orgasms. And then maybe he said this woman thing as a joke. Like, we can't tell you those things. But these, these communities are toxic. And if he goes deeper into them, he will probably develop an increasing level of animosity towards women that will end up impacting your relationship and also do you want to be with someone who is nice to you if they hate women in general yeah what about your friends right or your yeah. mom either or, or any other or your woman. sisters yeah like i'm skeptical if a guy like compliments me but then like slut shames another woman yeah. or whatever like you it, should you deserve yeah. obviously you deserve the best you deserve the best yeah and to think that you're not getting the best already fucking annoys me, so I just don't yeah. like this, I don't like that dude, so I'm, I would say fuck yeah. him. And, I mean, but separate from that, even even his friends should feel responsible for, like, making him feel, making him not feel better, but be better. Yeah. 
Because, like, yeah, he's clearly got an awesome girlfriend. Like, he needs to be questioning why he's going down these alleys. Like, where is he getting... I mean, you know, like, the, the YouTube algorithm wants us to pick yeah. up MRAs, but... And if he's got questions, I don't know, send him our way. Yeah, I was going to say, like, show him our videos. Like, yeah. this is kind of the same, the kind of guy we want to be talking to as well. And I know the world is fucked up there. I know that, that you know, it's it's tricky for all of us to find these intimate intimate moments and intimate relationships and like I don't know if we always even explaining how difficult flirting is these days I we understand that people mm -hmm. can feel alienated and lonely and and that these communities can seem like a haven of guys who are finally talking to each other because a lot of men even on the left they're like feminist left That's true. do not be are not open with their emotions do not talk about their concerns and their fears and this community Unfortunately, has tapped right into that. So of course, it's a, and it's a community. Right? Yeah, it is a yeah. community. And we as the left are shit at providing communal yeah. communities or communal experiences. So we totally understand yeah. the lure. And the reason, like the reasons he might be going into this, could be completely legitimate reasons of feeling like he needs to talk to some guys about his feelings. And yeah. and I'm, yeah, there are better outlets. I wish we could list them. Come to Clapton Games, man. Clapton <laughs> Games. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. There are some cool feminist dudes there that are also like, you know, supportive of each other, I think. So yeah, it doesn't have to be, they don't have to be supported by you or us. You know? And it doesn't have to be like girly things. Like we go to football every Saturday and we like drink oh, and cool like, girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean? Like it, you don't have to be like a, a feminine guy to be a feminist. Yeah. Like you can if you want to be, but it's not, it's not what people think it is. No, no. So for your sake, I would say don't be with this person because that's scary, but it's but, completely up to you. Yeah, and like, I, I would recommend maybe writing a letter as to why you left. I think it's good for this person to know. Also, be aware, they might share it online. Yeah. If they've already gone the really terrible path, like... Yeah, I don't know how strong the path is. Because he hasn't yeah. really just started watching in the last month, so that doesn't mean he might be redeemable. But then they, yeah, they did also say, like, he's a changed person. Like, yeah. Yeah, I really feel for your position yes. because seeing someone you love change is horrifying like. and thank you so much again yeah you know messaging about this oh you know I, I know examples of yeah men that definitely were on the wrong side of history but then they you know what no i'm not gonna finish the sentence i was gonna say like oh you know there was some misogynist but then they met a girlfriend and then they actually became feminist it shouldn't be a woman's job yeah. to fucking teach the dude about fucking feminism except so, no. that like there really aren't any like men led feminist groups because and that's a real failing of the left to be honest is that like men talking about their emotions in a non-toxic way pretty much doesn't exist or when they do try to get banned from the scene eh? oh yeah i heard that happen <laughs> so yeah we yeah we understand that there is a reason why people go to this these groups it isn't just i hate women full stop but it's just it can lead to that very fucking quickly and that's scary yeah, nice. Well, well, again, please be in touch with us about how it's going, you mm -hmm. know, we're always there. Um, and yeah, as, as Ron said, we're, we're sorry that if this was time sensitive. Basically, we just didn't have enough questions to like warrant a show, and anyway, it's just what it is. But yeah, please do get back in touch with us, because we are very, very curious about this kind of thing. And like, which is, this, this is the point of our project, this yes. scenario. And if you have any follow-up questions, or even just like an update about how it's going, yeah. definitely want to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, 100%, please. And good luck, and yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.